batch application steps. There are a number of steps that you have to perform to successfully apply a patch, which includes pre-install steps, actual patch application steps, and post-install steps. So I've listed down all out here. So let's go through one by one. To start with pre-install steps, you have to start with a patch impact analysis. Now you can simply go ahead and apply a patch straight away to a production environment. You need to first do a patch impact analysis in the sense what's there in the system, what's the current patch set level, what all it'll impact. For instance, if it's a financial roll-up patch or financial family pack, then you need to analyze what all the financial modules it'll impact because if something doesn't work after patch application, then it'll impact the business. As simple as that. And that's where you need to do risk analysis as well. That what happens if there is some failure? Uh, will you be able to roll back or will you be able to fix it? So I will explain these topics about patch impact analysis or patch risk analysis later in a separate lesson for strategies of around applying the patches. But uh, let's proceed further at the moment. So once you're done with these two, then you need to take a backup of your system. This is extremely important. Fine. Then one step which I have not noted down here is you should apply or you should plan to apply your patch first in a development environment. Okay. Once you apply it to a development environment, then you should move on incrementally to your testing environment, then a user acceptance testing environment, and finally to production. That's how it works in large organizations. You can't simply go ahead and apply a patch in dev and directly apply in production without a proper testing. So once a patch has been applied, a proper testing has to be done by the functional users, functional analysts in your organization. And then incrementally it has to proceed further towards production. So having said that, you need to take a backup of your system, which is extremely important. Okay. Then once you're done with that, you shut down all application services in application tire. Okay. So what should be running is only the database tire. All right. Then once you're done with that, bring the instance in maintenance mode using add admin utility. And that's what I will show you a usage of add admin utility once we go and start working on the patch application in my next movie, wherein I will demonstrate you how to go about it. It is necessary to bring the system in maintenance mode. Okay. Then you need to complete pre install patch application, if any, which has been specified in readme.txt of the patch in question which you're just applying. All right, so once you're done with all these pre-install steps, then you need, to, you need to move on to the actual patch application steps, all right, which includes, first you need to set up the application environment, which is mainly you need to set up the add top and uh, install top directory along with the system ID, okay. Now these are something a little bit technical if you're not coming from a technical background these are just directory structure within uh, your oracle application server wherein your add your ad utility actually resides your ad utilities like ad admin which is used to bring the system down for maintenance mode and you know disable the maintenance mode for applying a patch then it also contains your add patch utilities and number of other utilities like AD worker and so on. Okay. Now once you're done with that, once you're done with setting up the application environment, then go ahead and simply apply the patch using add patch utility. So when you apply a patch, if you recall, I have explained to you in the patch directory, there is something called as a DRV or a driver file. That's what you need to provide while applying a patch using, using add patch utility. Okay. Then if there are any failures, then the system will throw that failures on the console itself, but more details can be found out in the log. You can either um, track the log using Oracle application server command line prompt, or you can go through Oracle applications manager, the web based console, and there you can track the log files, which is more e easier and simpler way to do it. And once you find the log file, you need to track what exactly the error is and fix that error and restart your worker. When you restart your worker, 
then it'll the the system will automatically restart at patch utility and the patch process will restart now I've used the term worker out here worker is nothing but it's something like you know um, just like people in a company so at patch is like a manager and you've got several workers which runs simultaneously just like services in Windows environment it runs simultaneously to complete the patch application process as simple as that all right and then once the patch application gets over the system will give you a message that the patch has been successfully applied with links log file or error files or warning anything like that will be shown right on the console okay so assuming that the patch is successfully complied that completes the patch application and that's where comes the post patch application steps so what are the post patch application activities you need to check the log files warning and errors if there are any you uh, can either get the log files from command prompt or you can go to Oracle application server to find that out then complete the post install activities finally you recompile all invalid objects in the database optionally use add admin to complete this task okay now again this step I will show you in the application server itself how you can use add admin to recompile all invalid objects okay then finally once you're done with all the steps that I've listed out here the last step is you have to disable the maintenance mode using AD admin utility remember you first brought the system in maintenance mode prior to applying the patch out here and that's what you need to now disable the maintenance mode okay so once you're done with that then you need to do what you need to restart the application services in the application tire and then log in to the front end to make sure everything is working check all the processes and services or you know the concurrent manager if they are running successfully then you need to work with the functional team to test the patch whether it successfully resolved the issue or if there are any new issues that have come up and then if there are minor issues then you can work with the technical team say for instance if if there is an issue with a customized object then technical team can fix it and assuming that all that has been done then you can move the patch incrementally following the same process to the next instance a development or to test instance and then from test instance to protection so that basically completes the patch application steps in the next movie we will actually go into Oracle application server and I will show you a physical patch application following all these steps